Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to User1 Productions, my name is David and in today's quick Unity tutorial we're going to be looking at how to make a random object spawner. So say you're in a room and there's a door and you need to find the key to get out. Obviously you can set up the key to be in one specific spot or with this script we're about to go over. Uh, it can be able to be spawned in numerous locations around the room. As always, my friends, you can find models, scripts, sound effects, everything I use in this tutorial series on this channel linked in a Google Drive for free download. What else is in the description is our Discord, which we have, I believe, over 130 people in there. So if you have any questions, concerns about anything, either myself or someone in the Discord will be more than happy to help you. Also, we have a new link in the description, which is going to be the Twitch channel. That would be this channel right here, that man with a hat. That is me right there, as you can see. Uh, go check it out, guys. Drop up me a follow. I'm not sure when yet, but I do plan on doing some gaming live streams uh, completely separate from this tutorial series. Doesn't mean either one's going to stop. It's just meaning that, you know, if I'm playing video games late at one night with a friend or something and I live stream it, you guys can come watch if you want to. Without further ado, let me actually show you what this is going to do. So all I've done is using my low poly asset pack, uh, again, you guys can use this asset pack for your own game, or if you just want to prototype, which is kind of what we're doing right now, uh, just prototyping some scripts. You're going to notice I have uh, an apple, a lamp, a little knife, and a vase with some flowers in it right here, along with three tables. You're going to notice that these four items over here are going to randomly spawn on each one of these tables each time I press play. So let me show you that real quick. As you can see, everything went to the right side over here while the lamp stayed there. If I play again, again, we have random stuff all over the place. So this is not only for um, for puzzles and keys and stuff. It can also, like, you can randomize uh, prefabs around your scene. So that way rooms are not always identical uh, depending who plays it or what time they play it at. Uh, I think you guys get the gist of it. So let's actually go into the script and show you what's going on. And then I'm going to show you how to set this all up. The script is very simple. All we have is a public transform for the object. This is going to be its home object, whatever the script is attached to. And then we have an array for transforms. That's what these two brackets mean. I mean, we're using an array for spawn points, which is just going to be an empty game object. So in our start function, this is all we need for it to really work is we make a new integer, which is going to be the index number. And we're going to choose a random number between zero and whatever amount of spawn points we have. So if we have 10 spawn points, this number becomes 10. If we have two, this number would become two. It all updates itself within the script. So you don't have to worry about it. And then all we do right after it picks which number of spawn point to use, we are going to go into the game object. It's going to grab its position and we're going to make it equal that spawn points specific number. Pretty simple stuff. So let's actually go into Unity, show you how this is set up. Uh, I'm just going to delete the everything I have in here so far, except um, I'll leave the apple. So let me actually move this apple over here. And then I'm just going to go game object, create empty. And I'm going to rename this to apple spawn because we want to keep this um, as organized as possible. So then I will go into orthographic view and actually just pull it towards the table like this and make sure it's set up correctly, just like that. OK, and now we're going to go to the top view. I'm going to make it spawn in each corner of this table. So we're going to grab our apple spawn, control D to duplicate. I'll drag that here, duplicate again. We'll do the top and one more for the bottom. Now we have four separate spawns that this apple can go to. Uh, eventually, you guys are probably going to have a huge list of spawns. So to keep it more organized, go create empty and just call this um, spawns. And then everything that is a spawnable object that goes into a different location, just uh, put it inside there, close it, and now your hierarchy is going to be much more cleaner. Okay, now that we have the spawn points set up, we can go object, random spawn, click and drag that onto the apple. We have to specifically say which object it is, so we just click and drag our apple right there. And then spawn points, we have a size, so all we can do is click and drag each one of those apple spawns into here just like this and now when I play the game I'm just gonna deactivate my first person controller because I don't really need it right now we're only gonna be looking at this screen up here press play apples to the left press play again apples to the top play again we get to the top again so it's gonna choose a random place to put it each time and that's pretty much how you do it guys it's a very simple little script to use 
Um, the best thing about it is this apple could be literally anywhere. I can literally put this underneath the map. This is what most games will do is they'll have a pile of objects underneath for their spawnable objects like we're doing right now. And then when the game starts, they just get snapped right to the position they're supposed to be in, as you can see right there. And that's just going to be about it for today's tutorial, my friends. Uh, like I said before, scripts, models, sound effects, this script in specific as well will be in a link in the description down below on a Google Drive for free download. What else is in that description is our Discord, which, uh, you know, get in there, guys. It's growing really quick. We have a lot of talented game developers, sound designers, modelers, coders, everyone we could possibly need to help everyone out and help grow the community even bigger. And the newest link in the description, my friends, is the Twitch channel. Please go check that out, drop me a follow, and maybe pop by one of the streams one day. With all that being said, my friends, I hope you have enjoyed today's video, and this is User1 Productions signing off for now. Peace.